Hey man, welcome to Benji Fish TV. Well, sit back, relax, and watch me do some work here in the great state of Virginia. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button down below. So I don't do a lot of kayak fishing during the winter time because I make sure that I have plenty of other things to do. So what that means is that I'm stuck with bank fishing. And unfortunately, we're sort of limited with our spots. Outside of the normal fishing spots that you would find on the banks, there's also little animal trails. There's a lot of deer that come up to, uh, you know, drink the water. Those, those spots are good. A lot of these lakes and ponds still have briar patches at the banks. And trust me, the red briars are red for a fucking reason. So in the wintertime, the bass will generally head towards deeper water because it's warmer. So you want to try and target those deeper holes and the ledges if possible. But honestly, you're mostly limited to your bank fishing spots in the wintertime. So I always just try and bring a bottom rig and a spinner's rig, bottom rig for finesse fishing, and an aggressive rig for reactionary strikes. Now, I always thought that the bass religiously hibernated in the deeper waters during the winter time, but apparently that's not entirely accurate. Just the other day I was watching a professional YouTube angler telling me about a scientific study where they actually tagged bass like they were fucking sharks. These scientists actually put little GPS devices inside of the bass so they could track them over the course of however long. For those of you that think that catch and release anglers are harming the fish, I say go fuck yourselves because a stunning percentage of the bass that were tagged in this scientific study were found in the middle of the woods, mangled and dropped by birds of prey. As for the fish that did survive the study, the scientists were shocked to discover that a lot of bass actually do still hang out in the shallow waters during the colder seasons. In fact, it seemed like a lot of these bass would locate two or three of their favorite spots, hang out there and guard them very closely, rather territorial. A lot like humans, I guess. So in conclusion, I just want to say, it's winter time, it's cold, it sucks out there, but don't let that stop you from going out and trying to do some fishing, all right? So at the end of this little speech, I'm going to attach some video footage of me pan fishing here recently. 40 degree weather, and I'm still casting in the same spots that I would be during the summertime. So if you want to try and get some fish in your hands, get out there and do some pan fishing, you know? I'm using the exact same rig and pattern and technique and everything that I would use in the summertime. It's just a little slower. I, I, I would catch about five fish as opposed to 50, you know? But hey, I'm still catching some fish. Well, I guess that's my January update. Thanks for coming by and checking out Fishing with Benji. Hopefully I'll be catching more fish during the month of February and I'll try and make a February updated video and fill you folks in on other tips I've learned from fishing in the wintertime. Thanks for coming by to check out my Fishing with Benji videos. Make sure you like and subscribe my 360 Iris TV YouTube page. 